Hello there. Welcome to Midway Through the Month. Can you believe it? We are already at the 15th of June. Now that means a bunch of things. Well, it falls on a Friday, so that's fantastic. Because who doesn't love their Fridays? Even retired people love Fridays. Just saying, okay? And uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. And today is our team blog hop. So if you haven't checked that out, you definitely want to... Uh, um, I have the, I have the, um, the link in probably below this. There's some, uh, um, I have my blog post, <laughs> duh, wiki wiki. And, uh, anyway, you can find it there and then just hop through all the different blogs of, uh, our participating team members. So Yahoo, eh? <sighs> so, um, today we're doing our Fast and Fabulous Friday card so, going to make this card, and I know I don't often show you in advance what the card looks like, because we're going to jazz it up just a bit, and it's still going to be fast, and it's still going to be fabulous, and, well, look at that, it's still Friday. So, I will do-do-do, do-do-do, move that out of the way. Okay, so, going to be using Animal Outing. Now, I did make a card Monday with the uh, rhinoceros, so this time we're going to use the giraffe, and the little uh, tree limb here with the teensy little frog on it. So I have cut the base of the card, which is granny apple green. And I have embossed, yeah, this side. I have embossed the uh, granny apple green layer with the petal burst, yes, petal burst um, embossing folder. So. Actually, you know what? I don't think I'm going to... I'm going to assemble it all at once, so... Alrighty. Keep going. Uh, this is the copper foil sheet. And I have used one of the... I think it's the largest of the layering circle dies. And I know I don't often do this in advance, but once again, not bringing my uh, Big Shot up. Not bringing my Big Shot up. So I use the Stitched Shames shapes not shame oh the shame of it all um framework that fits perfectly here so normally what you would do is you would stamp and then you would um use your um your dies oh i wanted to show you this is the petal burst embossing folder just so you could see it live and in person okay so um what color am i using let me think no 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 i'm using soft suede and I have the giraffe and I have the branches. So first the giraffe. How's that sound? Let's do that first. Have we got ample ink? I just inked myself. <laughs> Shock. Shock and awe. Uh, let's see, right about there. So the full image won't fit on and that's okay. Because I don't need it to. And then... Now with this, I was going to try to avoid the froggy because I'm saving him for another part. So, uh, using the leaf with the little frog and just stamping off the edges here. And I turned it upside down to do this one. Ta-da, ta-da. And then that part's done. And now this is the part I'm kind of dreading, okay? Because if you noticed here, where it says happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Okay, that's stamped. That is not, um, that's not paper. So I gotta tell you, it took me a few tries. And you know, again, that's okay. Cause you know, you can't be perfect all the time. <laughs> I surely I just, yes I do. So let's see, I took my paper this way. So up and down and oh, the width is just over three quarters of an inch and that's probably that way because because I um it's a, it's a scrap it's an end piece so let's see if we're going to do this upside down right side up okay and then I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I, when I originally planned this the thought was to go from here to here you know like try and use my grid paper and then ultimately ultimately I just winged it so that's what we're going to do today. Let's move this 
card. Yeah, that's my business card. We'll just keep it there. Not that you don't know who I am, because, you know, you do. All right, so... <sighs> no, I didn't. I went this way. That's the same thing. <laughs> Duh. So, cross your fingers that it works, that I didn't mess it up. So I'm actually trying to get different parts of the happy birthday. Now, this is pretty small. Um, it is part of the itty bitty, itty bitty greetings. So they're, they're perfect for punches and such, but you know me, I gotta do it the hard way. So are these going to be evenly spaced? Oh, probably not, but Hey, it's handmade, right? I think the receiver of this will probably be happy. This really is a simple card. Really, really is. You know what I forgot to do? What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. This is the Itty Bitty Greetings. They come in, um, well, two uh, packages because there's so many. What's it say? 32 stamps. And um, pretty well everything you could want is on here by the looks of it. And you can, of course, find that in the catalog. So <sighs> let's see how we did. That looks pretty good for being eyeballed. Not bad. I would pat myself on the back when I'm not going to. Alrighty. So actually, let's be a good girl and clean it, right? I said I was going to keep my stamps clean. Oh yeah, totally. Because I really inked that. I find with little stamps, I, I do tend to like, get a little more ink on them, and that's, you know, normal. Okay, so let's bring the card back in and start some assembly, and uh, we'll go from there. So, so far, so far it's going pretty good, huh? Oh, I've got to clean the little... I call them glue boogies. You can call them whatever you want. So, alrighty. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so... Come out of there. Oh, there we go. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. While I'm gluing this, um, please remember to share my video. And you get your name into the draw for Happy Mail. And for those who are expecting their Happy Mail, I am a little bit behind. I apologize. Um, with my BOGO sale going on, um, it's taken up a lot of my time. And that is not a bad thing. I'm not complaining. So as long as you're okay with it. It will be on its way. I've got that on my to-do list for today is get my happy mail out. Alrighty, so let's glue this. Yes, oh, and, and with the BOGO sale, these are the dying days of it. So I'm thinking on Sunday I'm going to pack everything up, uh, anything that's left. So I still have lots of stamps and punches, paper, dies etc. Very good. Now let's put dimensionals behind that and get ready for the next step. And uh, and with BOGO, a number of people have taken advantage of it and it makes sense when you think of it. So whatever you buy uh, of my retired product, you get that same amount. So let's say, let's use my favorite number. Let's say you spend $50 in retired. You're going to get um, $50 in credit to use towards products in the new catalog. I call that a no-brainer. Use your credits. Oh my goodness. Use them, use them, use them. Okay, so I have my banner triple punch, triple banner punch, whatever you want to call it. And my, the piece that I'm going to, um, well, I'm going to do the, um, die. oh my goodness. <sighs> Somebody went out early this morning and was putting mulch down and got a little bit tired. That would be me. Okay, so this is cut to an inch. And this is the copper foil sheet, just like what I used um, behind the giraffe. And I just wanted a little strip of it showing for some bling. <sighs> now, let's see how it goes. So I think I'll do this one first. So remember to see what we're doing. We turn them upside down. And how long is that? I don't want to cut up too, too much. I do want it to go across the card, but let's get it into the slot would be a good thing, wouldn't it? Not to sound Martha Stewart-ish, if you could. A teeny, teeny bit 
too long. A teeny bit more. So we'll see if we can do it. I like when I can put the paper right to the end of the punch because I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to mess it up. Uh, not that much. A little bit. Boop. Bloop. You haven't heard that for a while, have you? Okay, into the recycle bin. Okay, so that's good. Yeah. And then I just want this one shorter, so I'm just going to punch it until I get what I want. Until I get what I want. So this then goes here, because you want the happy birthday going that way. So, and how long is this? Okay, so I'm going to cut a few times, I think. But keep checking, because I don't want to have to... I don't want to have to... Um, yep. Now, what I could do, if I had a uh, regular cutter handy, is I would just simply cut that. But no, I am not bringing my guillotine up here. Yes, look at I still have my thumbs and all my fingers. No accident since the first one. You know, live and learn. Once bitten, twice shy and all that. For anyone that missed that, um, I did report that I had um, stupidly somehow... Actually, I know how, because I almost did it again. I got my finger into my guillotine. So this is me. I'm cutting the paper. And it was just a thin piece. And this is how I know, because I cut this this morning. Okay, but we're not going to use this shiny one because it's going to get in your eyes. So I was cutting it, and you see what I did? Except it was out further, so I went under the guard, and I was holding my paper. Okay, smart people, look at the guide. It's a, it's a, it's a actual bar that's here. Don't put your fingers under that, because it's going to hurt. Now again, I was lucky, very lucky, to not have anything bad happen. Yay. Oh, not much more. See, I just need a little bit more. So let's just do a little bit more. And um, yeah, accidents happen. And all my years at uh, at work, when we did our safety, I think once or twice a year. Oh, oh I cut it crooked. Um, I'm sure some of our bell retirees that have better memories than me can tell you how many times a year we had to do the uh, the safety Thing, and it's a good thing like you don't want you really don't want to get hurt you know and I mean we're making cards here people we're really not trying to hurt ourselves so anyway back to it because now we have gotten that hello oh, hey, hey, hey. stronger not too strong but stronger okay let's put that down and you notice I'm using the liquid multi-purpose liquid glue again because I want that wiggle time so I can place it exactly where I want it and that would be like so. And I'm not trying to turn this over because it's going to slide on me. So I'll do it that way. My fingers are clean. Even after putting down the black mulch again. My fingers are clean. Whew. And that's wonderful. Because I didn't expect it. Even with gloves on, I thought for sure I was going to, you know. I thought it, but I didn't. Oh, I have a shout out for a, a, a friend of mine who made some... Awesome, awesome, awesome banana bread yesterday. I did not share. <laughs> I ate both pieces, one after the other. It was so delicious. So, yes, if you need me to taste test banana bread or anything else like that, you know who you know who to ask. I am I'm I'm here for you. Let's get that straight. Wouldn't that be nice? And you know that I have to hold it up to get it just right and across time to take the backing off so you see my purpose there was are you straight just a second you know it's confusing me because these are on a bit of an angle so let's take another look it is straight it's just me it's because those are throwing me off <laughs> it's like stripes when I put the uh, use striped uh, pattern same thing happens <sighs> okay so if you have any weekend plans, this is uh, sounds like a good one. I mean, even if it rains, it is the weekend. Let's remember that, right? Okay. Oh, so dimensionals are on. And before you press down, just make sure it's where you want it to be. You can get them off, but why not do it right the first time? Pretty. We're not done because we're doing the inside of this card. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, wait. We have some bling to put on. These came in the mail. Um, with the card I did, the uh, Broadway bundle card. Ooh, that's on the blog today. 
Okay. And uh, I, I, when I looked at this and I went, okay, those are gold and those are copper, but hey, potato, potato, it doesn't really matter. So these are your metallic pearls. You have your silver and then you have your gold. But I'm such a rebel, you know I'm going to use them. So do I want them out here? No, I think I want them on here. So let's go there. <laughs> Where are we going with this? Here. And one way over here. Remember, remember your triangles, right? Keep them in the triangles. Okay, they're tiny. And, you know, for those of us who are keeping their nails really short at the moment, <laughs> they're getting tricky. There we go. But don't, don't set down yet. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I like this. I didn't know there were so many, so I'm really happy. There's so many on there. Okay, inside of the card, do it the correct direction. Oh, I was just a fuzzy, so we're good. Alrighty, so bringing back those same colors, keeping with the plan, you know, keeping with the plan. This way. Of course, hey, it's not as crooked today, although you can see the base, so I apparently messed with this. So be it. Okay, so let's get this right. Okay, bringing in the leafy pattern with the the frog on it and this time I'm going to use the frog and although this is a dark color it's a uh, soft suede um I think it's I think it's perfect for what I want so let's see there's the frog right about there he's got he's a little tippy <laughs> he's he's like a frog that, oh you know he's so heavy he's weighing the branch down that's what it is you know, we just make it up as we go along. And what do I want? Oh, okay. Now you might be thinking of this as a baby card, right? And it could be. But I have to tell you. Oh, you don't get to see that in advance. I thought this would be really cute. So this is, again, from the Itty Bitty Greetings. And it's like fabulous at any age. So, you know, well, my friends know me, you know, and you know, I am a kid at heart. Shock. Uh, thus, you know, we are going to do it this way. Hmm. I think I want to, I think I want to stamp this straight. Wouldn't that be novel? Okay. And I have it the right direction. Yes. And I'm going to stamp it a little bit, maybe see how it looks right over the list. Is that a tiny bit crooked? Not really. I'm happy with that. So let's clean it, clean it, clean it, clean it, clean it. Beautiful. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking, I know it's fast and fabulous, but when my mind doesn't stop thinking about how can we just do a little bit more and, you know, bring in the soft suede again, bring in this, but this being the leafy pattern, but don't necessarily get the frog because we've already got that frog on the card. Oh, phew, made it. I thought that time I was going to get them. And we are just about done. So what did we talk about today? Animal outing, really cute set. I might be biased, but it's a really cute set. And um, these little doodads, the little metallic pearls, pearls. And then stamping your own little greetings sideways. Jazzing it up a little bit. Now I'm going to bring in the other card, so hang on a second while I glue this. Okay, we talked about share, sharing the video. Is anybody, I know you're old enough, most of my friends, yeah, most of them, are old enough to remember the Cracker Jack commercial, or what did you learn in school today? Sharing? Yeah. I would share my Cracker Jacks with you. If I ate them. I guess they're still around. I guess. I don't look because um, I haven't had them for like eons. So there's the inside of the card. I just think that's cute. Keeping it simple. So, and speaking of which, let's bring in the not jazzed up card. Okay, so you can see the difference. We have the embossing. And, and I switched it as well. Okay, I switched it because I couldn't find my gold this morning. I don't have much of it left. That could be the problem. So it's just a tiny little bit hiding somewhere. And uh, anyway, and uh, what else? So I put the pearls on 
used copper instead of gold, embossed, and I didn't do an inside for this card yet, because this was going to be my, here's my sample. Anyway, there you go. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Uh, share, and I will see you again on Tuesday at 10.